details regarding the incident. As you can imagine, there are still lots of pieces that we are working on. We are going to release the name of the officer involved. We are not releasing the name of the National Grid employee pending family notification. This incident involved multiple victims across several scenes, and it began at approximately 4 o'clock this afternoon when Peter Simon, age 54, of Woodsville, New Hampshire, was operating a pickup truck eastbound on Totten Pond Road in Waltham. He pulled to the side of the road, off on the shoulder, leaving plenty of room for the car that was behind him to continue straight ahead. Mr. Simon's truck suddenly shot back across the road in an apparent attempt to execute a U-turn. He collided with the Jeep that had been traveling straight ahead that was originally behind him. After hitting that car, the allegation is that the truck suddenly righted itself and continued straight ahead down Totten Pond Road. Approximately a quarter of a mile down that road, that car allegedly struck Waltham police officer Paul Tracy, age 58, of Waltham, and a 36-year-old National Grid worker from Cambridge. Officer Tracy had been working a police detail at the National Grid work site at the time of the crash. In addition to the National Grid employee who was struck and killed, two other National Grid employees were injured, one of whom required transport to the hospital. That individual had been in the hole where the work was taking place. The other individual was in the grade hall that was behind the National Grid truck that was doing the work. After striking those victims, the suspect continued on, struck at least two other vehicles before he abandoned his truck and fled on foot, fled up the hill into the neighborhood. In that flight, the suspect encountered a Waltham officer who had responded to the scene. He allegedly pulled a knife on that officer before stealing the officer's cruiser and taking off once again. The suspect crashed the cruiser on Winter Street and made an additional attempt to flee on foot before he was apprehended and arrested by a Waltham police officer. Peter Simon has been charged with two counts of manslaughter, armed robbery, and we expect to add additional charges tomorrow. He'll be arraigned, it's our expectation, tomorrow morning at the Waltham District Court. Clearly what happened today is an unimaginable tragedy for the family of Officer Tracy and for the National Grid employee, for the entire Waltham Police Department, and for the community as a whole. And of course, I am joined by Waltham Police Chief Kevin O'Connell, Deputy Chief Champion, Captain Wadley, my Chief of Homicide, Adrian Lynch, Massachusetts State Police Lieutenant Eric Gagnon, and Assistant District Attorney Chris Tarrant. It's important to remember that these two men were doing their job at 4 o'clock in the afternoon when they were killed. And crashes like this happen far too often. It reminds us all of the danger that officers and workers face when they are out on the roadways performing their jobs. There's a tremendous sense of loss that we all feel in hearing this. It would be a terrible thing to happen at any point, but obviously at the beginning of the holiday season. The, for the families of both Officer Tracy and the National Grid worker, this is a void that will not soon be filled. The family has asked for privacy tonight as they grapple with this unfathomable loss, and as I indicated earlier, we are not at this point releasing the name of the, employee from, the employees from National Grid pending family notification. I'm going to turn it over to Chief O'Connell, and then I'll take a couple of questions. Thank you, <clears throat> Tonight, I stand before you on behalf of the men and women of the Waltham Police Department with the heaviest of hearts. Today, while on duty, Officer Paul Tracy, a 28-year veteran of the Waltham Police Department, was tragically killed along with a national grid, national grid worker. Paul Tracy served this great city with distinction. He was a compassionate police officer that always looked out for the underdog. He was an amazing husband, a loving father, and a friend to all, especially the men and women of this police department. 
So on, on behalf of the Waltham Police Department, we extend, extend our deepest condolences to the Tracy family and to the National Grid worker and his family and friends. But I stand before you proud of the actions taken by the men and women of the Waltham Police Department today that responded to this call. Not only did they conduct life-saving measures for a fallen officer and a, a friend from National Grid working, they also, upon doing that, they had to give chase to a person and take him into custody as he stole a police car and went after officers. Their actions were truly heroic, and I couldn't be more proud of them. I also want to give a thanks to the state police that came out to assist us, the DA's office, and the Waltham Fire Department that responded in our ambulance service, Armstrong, that came out there as well. I again ask respectfully to keep the Tracy's privacy. Give them privacy. Give them time to grieve, but also keep them in your prayers. Thank you. I'll take a couple questions. Do we think this was intentional in any way? Was well, it all part of the investigation? Can you, can you just explain again when you actually struck these people? I mean, you done these new turns. So there are vehicles, a light line of cars going down. Assume that the truck is the first in the line we're looking at. He pulls onto the shoulder. There's, the ro roadway is clear. The car behind him, several cars behind him, are now moving straight ahead. He suddenly moves back across as though he's attempting to execute a U-turn. In doing that, he strikes the first car immediately behind him. He rights the truck and continues going in the direction he was originally traveling. The rest of the traffic is following along behind him. About a quarter of a mile down Totten Pond Road is where we have, as they are approaching in order, the great all, the hole in which there is a worker, and then the National Grid truck. And on the far side of the National Grid truck is the private car of one of the National Grid workers. The, our understanding at this point is the officer is near the truck. The National Grid workers in that same general area, they are both struck. He then strikes the parked car and strikes another car in the lane of travel. At that point, he abandons the truck and heads up into the neighborhood. All part of okay. what we're looking at. Does he have a criminal history that you're aware we'll of? We'll talk more about that tomorrow at the arraignment. And how old is he? He is um, born in 1969, so 54. Can you tell us anything about the procession we were expecting at tonight? It seems like it's been postponed. Uh, the yes, there is going to be, um, obviously, Officer Tracy's body as well as the body of the National Grid worker will be taken to the medical examiner's office. Um, I know they're working on that as to when that's going to happen. Okay. And we don't have those sometime. details yet. Probably tomorrow. Okay. Where is he from in New Hampshire again? Uh, Woodville. Woodville. Woodsville, I'm sorry. Woodville. Yeah. How does Officer Tracy spell that? It is T R A C E Y. Might there be a booking photo for the suspect? We'll deal with all that tomorrow. Okay. All right, thank you.